Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm here today with Natalie and we have a great project for you today. Um, this is an old pattern that we did years ago, isn't yeah, it? Probably. It was yeah. in Block Magazine, I think. That's right. And uh, we realized there wasn't a tutorial on it. So it's a great way to use your half hexi ruler and we're going to show you how to do that. So to make this quilt, you're going to need one packet of 10 inch squares. And we have used Chelsea Garden by Moda. And I just love this fabric. Mm -hmm. It has a, has a very vintage feel. I feel like I might have had some dresses made out of this. Definitely. Maybe even <laughs> some pants. Some jumpers. <laughs> who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I, I do love the line. And uh, you're going to need some background. And that background you're going to need is one yard. And that makes this little border out here. So that's our little border fabric. For our binding, we just used three quarters of a yard. It's a pretty standard binding amount, I mm -hmm. feel like, on most of our quilts. It's Almost about, every quilt is three fourths of a yard. So if you're yard. looking to bind a quilt, probably yeah. three if you fourths. Might, you will might do have it. that in your stash. All right, and then your backing is three and a quarter yards. And we use this big floral. Let me show you. It's so pretty. That Look is at that. Beautiful. Isn't that a gorgeous backing? And our quilting pattern on this is the Baptist fan. Classic pattern too. I love I it. I know. I love it. How big does this quilt make, Natalie? That is 50 by 63. So it's a really great like picnic size or lap size quilt. Yeah. Just watching TV, snuggle up in something vintage. It looks like it'd be the perfect size for a little, um, one of those little crib beds. like a It really does. Little <laughs> just like a toddler, toddler bed. bed. That's yeah, what I'm trying to think bed. of. A toddler bed. And it'll be really helpful if you have the half hexagon template That's right. by Missouri Star. So Natalie, shall we show them how we made this quilt? It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually great, I think, for a uh, beginner. I mean, be, any, and it would make it look like cake. they worked really hard. Yep. Yeah, I think it's a great idea for a beginner as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so it takes one layer cake, and we've got a couple of pieces right here. Yep. And I don't know about you, but when I cut my hexes, I fold mine in half. Do okay. you? I Usually, yes. Because you can fold them either direction. You want two. Mm -hmm. out of each uh, out of each 10 inch square yep because we're matching these together and the thing that makes this quilt a little bit different is that we're actually matching them instead of putting them together like this to form a hexagon yep that's your we're putting them together like this to form that An hourglass hourglass block to me it reminds me a little bit of a honeycomb block i think that's probably why we called it honeydew hmm. i'm not sure but you know or it could be the um the to-do list that you give your honey. There you go. And this is the, the timer, the hourglass oh, gosh. of life. Like, come Please, on, let's man. not put our spouses on a timer. Get it that done. Would, that would not work very well. <laughs> All right. So do you want to go ahead and cut this out and show us how sure. easy it is to cut out? Now we have two pieces there folded in half. Yep. And um, you could go use... Ahead and a rotating mat, you know, pretty much whatever you wanted to do. But it's pretty easy to move because once they... Um, are pretty easy to cut because it just kind of stays put on there. Yeah. Not a big deal. And there your notches go. are kind of, they're right on the edge. It's 10 inches wide. Yeah, you don't actually have to cut the notches. Surprise. All right. So once you get all your pieces done, mm -hmm. probably the next easiest thing to do is just lay it out. Yep. I mean, this is, this is, you've done the hard part right here. That's right. Your block is made. That's right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to talk about these border blocks, uh -huh. which are also just half hexagons. That's right. These ones on this side. The top and bottom are full five inch strips. And then the sides are um, half hexes that we cut in half vertically. Now, the cool thing about when you use a solid is that it's good either way. So you don't have to worry right. about left or right hand pieces. That's right. So we're actually we're actually just going to cut these in half. And I like to kind of, you can measure it because it's 10 inches from the bottom, measure mm -hmm. it to the five. But it always helps me to have that little line right there that, that makes it um, where you know you're getting it pretty much in half. Right. So let's look right here. This is our five inch ruler and you see mm -hmm. it comes to the five right there. So you're going to cut a bunch of these just the same as you did the other, and then you're just going to cut them right in half. And these actually make your border. And so right. we'll stack them over here. And let's lay some of these out so they can see. Now, along this top row, you'll see that we start with a hole, but then we have a, a half block right here. Yep, because, they're offset. Yeah, because we want these to be offset. You know, you can do a whole row of them, which would be an interesting look as well. Mm -hmm. But I think it's kind of fun when we do it this way. And so then 
on the top of these, you have to have that, that little secondary piece. And a lot of times what I do is whatever piece I have a half of up here, I'm going to put my other half in down here. Now we've only used 39 blocks. So there's some extra half hexes. So you yeah, can, you can have some, you that, can have some that are different. Mm -hmm. And that helps uh, if you have like a lot of similar fabrics and you just need something that doesn't... Or if there's white ones in your, in your uh, pack That's as well, true. you know, and yeah. you don't necessarily want that in your quilt. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's lay out a couple of rows. Let's All show them right. how to do this. So then this will go here. There you go. I was I would we'll say put you the have to other part of find our... their sisters. That's right. And then shall we do like maybe sure this green one on top and this blue one down here. And then this one this blue one then is going to come down into the next row. Right. And so if we do this like this, this one's also going to come into this next row like this. Mm -hmm. Am I getting way too ahead of you here? No, you're fine. Or so I believe you're going to have six across here, correct? Mm -hmm. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then as you come down, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. halves. That's right. 13 halves, you know. Mm -hmm. And so as you come across here, you know, you'll, when you get to the end, when you get your six in, this is the other half of your border right here. And if you hold it and you're like, I'm that just not sure, work. just flip it over and yep. it will go right in. And so as you sew these rows together, it just makes a really fun, this is a great way to end it because when you're done with your rows, your border is on and yes. it looks like you worked really hard because you've done this border where it goes in and out in and out then on the top and the bottom we just did a big five inch strip go ahead and uh -huh. put that over the top and honestly you could Oops. go ahead and use those other uh, pieces and make one more row on the bottom but it would look weirdly long i think don't you think it's will get kind well, of this is runway -ish. this is one of those quilts that like you could make it bigger by adding another layer cake yeah it's just very versatile. It's just fun. So shall we show them how to sew like a couple of these together? Yeah, because when you them? put them together, you can see that you're lining it up this direction. So this point comes at the end of your notch mm -hmm. and this point comes at the end of your notch. And we're right. just going to sew that a quarter of an inch. So, so let did me. You, did you show that close up? Let, I'll let you show so that close up. So when you lay these over side one. by side, you're going to line up the corners of these notches here and here. So this part hangs over just a bit, and it should be right at your quarter inch seam for hangover. There we go. And that should line Ooh, it up. Ooh, look at that. Do you want to add the, the front border? Sure, or the first sure. Border let me do here. that. If your tension's bad, go over that seam again once you fix it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's see how that looks. Looks great. I don't think I've ever sewn a more perfect block. You are so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then as you start sewing your rows together, just remember to match up those corners. All right, so let's go ahead and stitch these two together. Now it won't be a full row because there's six well, in a row. Well, we're going to make this a mini. A little mini. Yep. Wouldn't this make the cutest table runner? It would. <gasps> or we have different size hexi rulers. You yes. could make it tiny. That would yep. be so cute. There we go. Okay. And then you're going to add this one. Whoops. Not like that. Over. There you go. <laughs> I do like knowing the notch thing. It's, it's really easy to see on this fabric where you can see the little... Mm -hmm. The little bright purple peeking out. Yep, you line up those little edges. All right. Okay. Shall we sew how we sew? Um, shall we show? Yes, I'm going to lay this down <laughs> just to make sure that I still have these in the right spots. And then I'll hand them to you one at a time so that um, you can go ahead and sew this next row. Perfect. And then I'm going to press this real quick while you're sewing. You ready for your next one? Is this it right here? Yep. All 
I mean, once you know the trick about, you know, how the notches line up, it just goes together so quickly. That's right. There's your last one. Now remember, we're only sewing three, but you're going to have six if you're going to make the quilt behind us. That's right. We just want to show you how these rows go together because it's just slick. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to iron Let that. Me press this and then we we'll can put these two the rows way. together because they're, they're not really points, but there are spots that you want to match up as you go. So you, mm -hmm. I mean, you can pin if you want to, but otherwise just look for where these fabrics join. So you're going to be putting it together like that. Now remember, in case and this they, is confusing to you, wait a minute, open it back up again. In case this is confusing to you, this next row is this guy right here. Yes. So just, you know, because all of a sudden you're like, wait, where did this random green one come in? Well, he's a filler because as we're staggering mm -hmm. this one, this is the next row to come in. So as you put them together, you know, this will have the top of another one that will come down into this row. And yep. so you just have to keep that in mind as you're laying them out. And that's why the layout is important and it's important to do it first. Do that, do that before you start sewing. Yeah, because you do want to have, you know, you don't want all your greens in one spot and that sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so show us when you put these together. All right, so really you're laying the whole thing right on top of uh, the row underneath and they just match up. You don't have to really look too much at any any crazy thing. They line up together. The seams nest? No, well, they can if you press them that way. way or the other, okay. but they don't really have to. Okay, I think I'll make them behave. You can make them behave <laughs> and then we'll just press them however. All right. However they end up. So we're starting right here on this edge and we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch. And I do like to kind of nest these. To me, it may, I don't know why, but it makes it feel just like I'm getting it right, you know? Yeah. yeah. Then we're going to sew along this long. We'll get yeah, that. It's really quite a forgiving and easy quilt to make. You want to press that? Yes, I do. You can check how I did. Oh, I have a little bit more purple showing under that one part. That's all Let's right. Let's see if it matters. It won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whenever I make a mistake, I kind of like toss it on the floor to see if I can see it really fast. Yeah, if it and bothers it, you, fix and it. And then I pick it up and I toss it again. And if my eye is drawn to that three times, then I fix it. If I can't find it or it looks okay or I'm hunting for it, I'm just like, no, we're gonna let that go. Because for me, quilting is go. about the joy of the journey. Ooh, look it at that. pretty good. I did pretty good. So there, I mean, that's yeah, it. It's just I that simple. That. So it is, it really is just that simple. So as you put these together, have fun picking the fabrics you're gonna use, have fun making them into little hourglass units. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Honeydew Quilt by the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hey everybody, every week I give you a new idea and we are almost one million quilters strong. So join us every Friday for a new tutorial. And if you haven't clicked or subscribed, make sure you do that today. See you on Friday.